Okay, so today we're going to be finding when f of x is equal to g of x. So when the two y values are equal to each other. So it's solving a system of equations algebraically. And when we do this, what I'm looking for is when are the y values going to be equal. So I'm not actually looking for the y values. I'm only looking for when the y values are equal. So I'm actually looking for the x values. I'm looking for the x values that will make my y values here equal to each other. All right, so here's my two equations. I have f of x is equal to x squared minus 36, and g of x is equal to x minus 16. So remember, this is y equals x squared minus 36, and this is y is equal to x minus 16. So I'm looking for when my y values are equal. So I'm going to set them equal to each other. x squared minus 36 is equal to x minus 16. Okay, so now we want to take this quadratic equation and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to move everything over to the left. Minus x and add 16. So I have x squared minus x. Negative 36 plus 16 is negative 20. And that equals 0. So from here... Remember, we're only trying to find the x values. I don't, I'm not going to complete it all the way. I'm just looking for these x, the x values here. So to solve this, I could either use the quadratic formula. I could complete the square. Or I could try to factor this. Now, let's just take a look at if completing the square is a good option. So I do have a leading coefficient here of a 1, which is good. But my middle term here is a 1. That's what's in front of the x, so it's negative 1. So completing the square wouldn't be the best option because we would get fractions here. Not that it won't work, it'll work, but you would have to deal with the fractions. So your best thing here would be either to try to factor it or to use the quadratic formula. I am going to factor this because I know it's factorable here. So I'm going to multiply the first times the last here. I get negative 20x squared. So I'm looking for two numbers that'll multiply to 20 and subtract to give me a 1. That would be 5x and 4x. They have to be different signs. That's the only way to get a negative 20. When you multiply two numbers, you have different signs. And then when I add them, combine like terms, I have to have a negative. So I have to have a negative 5 and a positive 4. Bring down the end. Bring down the front. And now I'm going to factor by grouping. So group the first two. Group the last two. GCF of the first two is x times x minus 5. I have a plus here, so I'm going to put the plus on the outside. The GCF is 4 times x minus 5. So my two factors are x plus 4, remember it's your coefficients, and x minus 5, and that equals 0, remember. Okay, so we want to finish solving this up. I'm going to make my t-chart. Set each one equal to 0, x plus 4 equals 0, x minus 5 equals 0, and solve for x. Minus 4, x is equal to negative 4, add 5, x is equal to 5. And now I'm done. I just have to just write something at the end here. And the reason why I'm done is because when are my x val when are my, my y values going to be equal? My y values are going to be equal, because remember, I set them equal to each other. My y values are going to be equal when x is negative 4 and my x is 5. So I'm going to write down here, f of x is equal to g of x when x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 5. All right, that's it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.